Right? Could be. I don't know. Yo, let's go. Wait, that's not. That's not shiny. Ah, uh, okay. Let's go ahead. Well, the first one's a dreepy, so it's fine. And this one should be shiny. Please don't let me be wrong. Thank you. Oh my god. I mean, Hatchery would have been fun too, technically, because uh, he's part dragon, so. Why? Why do you keep doing this? Do you not love me anymore? Is that why you keep doing this? Is the love gone? <laughs> You're just expressing how you feel. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did that like Friday. When we were doing Go for Colossal. Well, okay, I didn't get it on stream, I got this one beforehand. But yeah, for anyone wondering like why I don't catch oh god no I don't want to use that I uh, why I don't catch anything on stream is because I sit there and usually get most of the Pokemon excuse me I usually get most of the Pokemon off stream and then anything that's like a five percent or lower I usually go for it on stream. I would never sit there and say, uh, Game Freak was the best at decoding that. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter, because he's almost dead. <laughs> yeah, he ain't gonna be around for much longer anyway. Yeah, he, he's, he's, wait, no. Okay, no, he's gonna die this turn. Is that a shiny, is that a shiny family? Yeah, no, that's a shiny Kingler. Shiny yeah. Oh. It actually looks really good in this generation. Oh, okay, I thought I was gonna get the Gigantamax. I thought I was going to be able to get the Gigantamax until we see Shiny Gigantamax Kingler. <laughs> it doesn't matter now because he's dead. <laughs> I guess we'll never know now, that way. I snored it. Get over it. Okay, you know what? You know, you know, it's fine. You know, that, that's perfectly fine. Pretty much because if you know your shiny frame, okay. I forgot I'm five, five to ten seconds ahead. Anyway, yeah, pretty much if you know your shiny frame, then you pretty much know it's going to be shiny. So, for example, like, uh, let me see. If you know your shiny frame is, like, seven, I don't know. I, I doubt anybody would get a seven. I, I doubt that seriously. But, you know, for anyone who does get a, like, seven shiny frame, that means that the seventh Pokemon in that frame, oh, it's frame seven is going to always be shiny. So you can skip like say, I don't know, let's say let's say about three Pokemon. And then just start from there. And then that means that on the seventh frame it will be shiny no matter what. It's just the pick em up the pick em on. The Pokemon will be different. So in my case, I'm on I start usually start on frame seven thirty two. And I always skip five ahead because my shiny frame is on seven thirty Seven. This is why I always skip five days to the thirty-first. Oh, I guess if that makes sense. The fuck? So pretty much whenever I get to the thirty-first, unless the day changes, I already know it's gonna. I already know, always know that it's gonna be shiny. Now, granted, that's just for this den. And it's another Dracloak. That's only for this den. I mean, the den change, the den C changes all the time, so 
I can go put a wishing piece in a different den, but still end up with a different, like, frame. I can end up with a different frame, so that frame might be, like, 2,500. And at that point, I wouldn't do it then. <laughs> Alright, let's go get a Dracloak. Let's see. I'm actually kind of curious. No, nope, never mind. I hear it bringing my own milkshakes to the yard, and I don't like it already. We ain't about milkshakes here. Mostly because I'm like, it was intolerant. Now that is a shiny track look. Compared to... How do you spell it? Oh, thank God I spelled that right. No, that does not turn into a Hydreigon. It will never turn into a Hydreigon. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that does. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even with you right now. Spending time in the dynamic atmosphere with lots of people around quickly makes you feel drained and need to get away. Wait, what? So when you're around a lot of people, do you feel the urge to leave? Eh, if I'm crowded, yes. Yes, okay. I don't, I don't like crowded spaces. You see yourself as more of a realist than a visionary. Yes. You find it easy to emphasize with a person who has gone through something you never had. I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Can you relate to people if you've never had this experience? Yeah, because it's always going to be something that's kind of like that. Like, if you say, well, my pet just died. Mine's dead, too. It's called a goldfish. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous burst of energy than organized and constant efforts. Ah, I'm more like neutral on that. 90% <laughs> wrong with him. Your emotions control you more oh, nice. than, than you control them. No. After Wait, a long, what? exhausting week, a fun party is what you just need. No, I don't. I don't party. You frequently find yourself wondering how technological advancement could change everyday life. Um. Yeah. I mean, cause like, yeah. You, consider, you always consider how your actions might affect some other person before doing it. Oh fuck no. <laughs> you still honor the commitments you have made, even if you change. Even if you have. Okay. You still honor the commitments you have made, even if you have a change of heart. Well, yeah. Yeah, I do do that, actually. You feel really insecure, disagree. No. <laughs> no, I am not insecure. Okay, I might be a little bit. <laughs> not even close. Okay. You're following. You should be an architect. No. Wait, what? Your personality tech is an INTJ. I am what? I wonder how to read it to you. Okay. Your job should be an architect. You are 70, 74 versus 26% introvert. Um, you, okay, so your mind is more introverted than extroverted. Your energy level is more intuitive than observant. Your nature, which is the trait that shows how much this is, okay. Energy is this trait that shows where you direct your mental energy. You're more intuitive than observant. Your nature, this trait determines how you make decisions and cope with our emotions. Is more you don't think before you speak, basically. Before you feel. Tactics. Uh huh. Your trait reflects on the approach to work. I'm doing actually pretty good. Decision making. You're 75 How about you? percent more than prospecting. And the last one here is your trait is identity. This trait underpins all others showing how you're confident you are ability to you're more assertive than you are turbulent. So in other words, I'm not an asshole. No. Okay, good. <laughs> good then. Alright, this is the last one. Go hard or go home. Shh. 
shit. Nope. Forgot to do the thingy again. I guess I'm so used to just hitting invite only. It's like, okay, it's just a natural response. Okay. Surely Duraludon has to be faster. I mean, he's made of aluminum. It's like the lightest metal there is. I mean, how can you sit there and say that aluminum is not faster than anything else on this Pokemon planet? I think I might actually be done, yo, if he's not. You know, I just realized that was a Cars reference. <laughs> How should I name Lightning McQueen? He's got a little butt thing. Looks like a car muffler. Alright, Duraludon. You know what to do. Show off your big dick energy. Show them that you're the fastest. Now go! <laughs> I have no one. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, he's a freaking aluminum. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. We tried Duraludon. We tried. We failed. It's okay. Okay, now, what are we gonna catch this thing in? Mm, thinking. You're not my favorite ghost type, but I do love my ghost types in Pokeballs. I mean, not in Pokeballs, love balls. You know what? I can't believe I'm actually giving you the same special treatment as Mimikyu. You better appreciate this. Only a few ghosts they, they, they get to go into a love ball. You should be very proud of yourself, Dracloak. Oh, thank god. Now I can actually sit there and name this thing. And I already know the perfect name for it. Oh, look. Dracloak's evolving. I mean, Tactical Nuke is evolving. <laughs> You know, I wasted like four or five hours trying to get this thing. And somewhere deep down in my heart, I'm still not satisfied. This victory feels bittersweet, but I'm taking him anyway. No, you don't need dragon darts. Okay, now that he's in here. Dear God, I'm never doing that again. One last thing before we go. Any day now. Gonna walk up to that pot door loot on? Yeah, don't worry about that black smoke. This actually tastes really, really good.
Wow, okay. Maybe none of them actually like my cooking. That's fine. Fuck them. Yeah, I hope they all go hungry. Also, Colossal is in the shot and I can't see anything. Ooh, we got a we got an aura around them. Dry bone curry. Oh, I hear a little tingle sound. That means we got at least like Kaparaja. And I didn't have to do shit for it. Okay, well, no, it was Milsuri, but oh well, you know what? It's something. Alright, you, come over here. Yep, yeah, 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 you. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Now, I'm gonna need you to show me your happy face. Close enough. You wanna do that again? No, it's okay. Other than that, uh, I guess we'll call it a day here. Let's see, tomorrow's Monday, so yeah, probably back to business as usual. You know, Overwatch, whatever other game I feel like playing. And we'll probably come back to this on Friday. Other than that, I thank y'all for watching. If you're on here, I thank y'all for watching. If y'all on YouTube, as usual, you get the shortened version. Eventually, I'm going to have to think of something better to say than just the shortened version. When that day comes, I will. Other than that, I thank you all for watching, and I will see y'all next time. Thanks,